Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I am so excited to do this haul video from Midnight Daydream. And this also marks my 10th haul from <laughs> Midnight Daydream. Um, so that is a huge milestone if I say so myself. Um, so I have been ordering from him for almost a year now and he actually reminded me of this because in his sweet note that he wrote to me on the invoice like he always does, um, he had said that the, I think he said the 13th of this month, See the 13th or the 16th. Oh, now I'm going to have to check. Um, but he said it was either the 13th or the 16th of this month actually marks a year that I did, um, that I tried the zucchini sampler. Oh, it was January 12th marks the year that I did the zucchini sampler, which is crazy to me. Um, so yeah, I've been ordering from him for almost a year now, which is insane. And to see how far he's come in a year is just insanity to me like when I first when he first reached out to me actually to do the review for him um he was like this really small vendor that I've never heard of before um and when I posted about him it people did show interest and when I did the video people showed more interest and um it was it like really just like I felt like he just blew up from there he was getting so many comments and stuff on his pictures so many likes he was getting more followers I see more and more people talking about him on a regular basis about his company um, I've been seeing more hauls from him so that is just like super super awesome so congratulations you absolutely deserve it um, now let's get into the haul because it's way bigger than I thought it was so when I think it was last week maybe it was even the beginning of this week because he ships out so fast you really never know um he was doing a sale so it was a dollar 75 percent shots so i obviously jumped on the website as soon as i saw that post on instagram and um i just kind of went a little bit crazy and i ordered a bunch of scent shots and a few other things too as well so the next day I went back on the website. I really just went there just to browse because I knew there wasn't going to be a lot left. Um, however, I did find more things that I wanted and I saw that I could order uh, doubles of ones that I thought that I would really like. So I did message him and I asked him if it would be okay or if it's possible for me to combine my orders. If not, it's totally fine. And he was super accommodating and let me combine them. So that was really awesome of you. Thank you so much. And now let's get on to the haul. So... Um, when I opened my box, I actually got it maybe an hour ago. Um, this whole bag of goodies, extras, was sitting on top, which was super sweet. And then, of course, his business card. Normally, I have it sitting back there, but the reason I have it up here right now is because on the back, he wrote, Thank you, Tara, which is just super cute. So let's put that back there. And let's get into the extras that he sent me. So this first one that I have is um, Fancy Frappuccino, Coconut Dream Frappuccino, Amish Cinnamon Bread, and Marshmallow Fluff. So he's always sending me bakery stuff because he knows I love bakery. I mean, let's get real. Who doesn't know that I love bakery? So he's always sending me little bakery samples to try. And this is amazing. I love his Coconut Cream Frappuccino and then the Amish Cinnamon Bread. Oh my God, I've been obsessed with Amish Friendship Bread lately and that one is so good. And then I got um, Bakery Bliss Secret Ultimate Bakery Blend. So I don't know what's in here. But to me, it smells a lot like sugar cookie something. Because this reminds me a lot of his sugar cookie blends. Sugar cookie, marshmallow, maybe Danish butter cookies or something. That's what it smells like to me. It smells really good. And then I got a Grubby. I love his little Grubby. So cute. And this is in Frankenberry Ferris Wheel, Frankenberry Cereal, and Caramel Corn Concession Stand. So I love the Strawberry Frankenberry Cereal Blends. Um, but this one was really intriguing to me, so I'm glad he sent it. To me, it mostly just smells like the Frankenberry, though. Now, like I said, I literally just got this like an hour ago, and it is so cold outside that my stuff still feels cold. Even though it's like 79 degrees in my house because I always have the heat up really high. Um, so I know that kind of affects it sometimes. I maybe, now I'm kind of thinking I should have let this sit a little bit longer, let it warm up. But, oh well. Hopefully it won't affect it too much. Okay, then the last thing that's in here is this little square, which I think is really cute. I think you should start selling these. And this is in Buckaroos, which is oatmeal cream pie and caramel nut cluster. So like I said in my other video, um, I've been really into oatmeal scents lately 
And I actually really like this one as well. This one is a little bit on the spicier side, but the caramel nut cluster makes it super to tolerable. Tolerable? Tolerable? That's how you say that? I don't know. I really like this one though. So I'm super glad that he sent that to me. So thank you so, so much for the extras. I so appreciate it. Okay, so I did get a few of the little scent shots. I only got four of them. Um, so this first one is in Royal Blue Cookies, which is blueberry jelly and royal sugar cookies. I really like this one. Um, I grabbed this one because I loved the blue ribbon. Is it blue ribbon cookies or something? It's blue ribbon something. And it's like blueberry pie or blueberry something mixed with the cookies. So I really, really like this one too. It's a little bit different though. This one is a little bit heavier on the blueberry than the other one is. And then I got chocolate caramel kettle corn, ca caramel kettle corn and chocolate marshmallow bits. I love this one. I've been really loving chocolate lately. I was actually melting chocolate last night. Um, and this is oh, so good. I love the caramel kettle corn mixed with the chocolate. That's something I actually never really thought of mixing before. It's really, really good. I like that a lot. I'm definitely going to have to get some more of that one if you ever remake it. And then I got Brickle Doodle Latte, Toffee Brickle, and Snicker Doodle Latte. And this one is so good. Oh my gosh. I love this Toffee Brickle. It smells like butter brickle mixed with coffee. Oh my god, that is so good. So I got two of those. Okay, now let's jump into the two ounce scent shots. I'll show you the ones that I got doubles of first and then we'll get into the singles. So this first one is Friendship Bread for Breakfast. Friendship Bread slathered with blueberry raspberry jelly. So, okay, really quickly, I did not know the scent descriptions for a lot of these. <laughs> so some of them were good purchases and some of them not so much. But um, the ones that I don't like doesn't really bother me because I'm actually in the middle of sending two medium boxes of Random Active Kindnesses out to two very special people. They have no idea that it's coming, um, but I'm actually working on them today. So they will obviously be getting some of these because I know that they will appreciate them. So this one... Smells amazing. <laughs> I love this one. I love that you can really smell the friendship bread. And then um, the blueberry raspberry jelly. Oh my god. It is amazing. So I'm super glad that I got two of those. And then I got peanut butter pizzelle. Um, rich and creamy peanut butter buttercream sandwiched between two pizzelle cookies. Pizzelle, pizzelle, whatever. So this one is actually really light. I don't know if it's because it's so a little bit cold or if it's just a lighter scent. Um, I know peanut butter in general is kind of on the lighter side, but right now I just get kind of like a dull peanut scent. So I'm kind of hoping that it um, kind of gets stronger a little bit, but we'll see. And then I just got regular old zucchini bread. Can't go wrong with his zucchini bread, of course. I love his zucchini bread. Oh my god, it's just one of my favorites. I will never get sick of his zucchini bread. I can smell it for days and never get tired of it. Oh my goodness, so good. Oh, I meant to say, if you're watching, please make zucchini bread in a room spray. <laughs> I've really been wanting it. <laughs> I don't know why, I just do. Please make one. Okay, this next one is um, Aunt Edna's Apple Pie Cookies. I don't really think I need to read this on description for this one. I love this one. I love this apple that's in here. It reminds me a lot of Twisted Tales from um, Woof Wicks, if you guys know that scent. It's almost identical to that scent. So I'm super glad that I got two of those as well. I don't know what I'm doing back here with this design, but I guess we'll see how it goes. <laughs> okay, then I got um, Casper Zucchini Cupcakes, Zucchini Cupcakes and Rice Krispie Treats. So this was actually from, I've, I've tried this one before. This is from his Halloween collection um, and I loved it. So I'm so glad I was able to get two more. This is such a good scent. His zucchini bread mixed with kind of like that marshmallow, I don't want to say marshmallow fluff, but like that marshmallow crispy treat scent. Oh my God, that is so good. Okay, now the rest of these are all just single ones. So I grabbed Baking Me Crazy, zucchini bread, royal sugar cookies, and marshmallow fluff. Love his marshmallow fluff. Yeah, this is, oh my god, so good. Reminds me a little bit of Fake and Bake from Super Tarts. It's not exact by any means, but it's close. 
It reminds me a lot of that, actually. So love, love, love that one. Definitely want more of that. Um, Pecan Cobbler. Ooh, that one's really nice. That one's actually really good. I like, it smells like pecans with like a really strong caramel or like a butter brickle toffee scent. That's really, really good. I like that one a lot. And then I grabbed lemon, lemon, wow, what kind of accent was that? Lemon Danish cookie dough Noel. Um, Ice lemon Danish or cookie dough and vanilla bean Noel. I'm actually not crazy about this one. Um, the, the lemon in here, I don't know. I'm just not crazy about it. I don't know. There's just something like off smelling to me. But there are certain lemon scents that I just don't like anymore for some reason. Um, so we'll have to pass that one along. But I do know someone that will like it. So it's okay. All right. Next one is Italian wedding cookies. Melt in your mouth Italian wedding cookies baked with anise extract and dusted with powder sugar. So this one is actually super light. I mean, I smell something, but it doesn't really smell like a cookie to me. I don't know. I'm not really a fan of this one. I don't want to say that it's light because it's not light, but it just doesn't smell like a cookie to me. I don't exactly know what it smells like, and I don't know what anise is or anise, anise, whatever. Um, maybe it's that, <laughs> but I'm, I'm just not crazy about that one. I'm sorry. Okay, then I got caramel maple cookie. Homemade sugar cookies are drizzled with a warm maple sugar caramel. That one sounds obviously right up my alley. <laughs> yeah, this one is so good. I love how strong the sugar cookie is in this one with the maple and the caramel. Oh, such a good bakery scent, of course. Um, then we have ghost treats, which is apple butter, caramel, zucchini bread, candy corn, and toasted marshmallows. So this one was also kind of a shot in the dark because I didn't know the scent description, but now that I'm reading it, I think I have it already. <laughs> but I'm glad that I got another one if I do because this is so good. The apple butter caramel and the zucchini bread together, oh my god, match made in heaven. And it is so strong. Apple butter caramel, caramel, however you want to say it, is always a really strong scent, but then when you mix it with that zucchini bread, oh wow, that is good. All right, then I grabbed an Are You Baking um, Bear Claw, Salted Caramel, Zucchini Bread, and Danish Butter Cookies. So I saw that he was making this, and I was like, oh my god, like I need to get that one. So I'm so glad that I was at least able to get one of them. Oh my goodness, so good. The Bear Claws and the Zucchini Bread together are the first thing that I smell, and then you definitely get the Salted Caramel and the Danish Butter Cookies. Oh my god, that is amazing that one actually might be my favorite one so far to be honest <laughs> then we have cafe zucchini birthday bread cafe espresso zucchini bread and happy birthday so obviously espresso and zucchini bread is like clearly a match made in heaven for me oh my goodness i love espresso um really mixed with any type of bread scent zucchini bread amish friendship bread fresh baked bread whole wheat bread so, so good. That's definitely another favorite. Um, Linzer Tort, Raspberry Preserved, Frosted Almond Cookies, and Pie Crust. So whenever I see the word Linzer, I always think, okay, automatically it's raspberry. So I decided to grab it. I do know that I'm pretty picky with raspberry scents, but I wanted to go ahead and try it anyway. And this one is really nice. It really smells like a raspberry preserve. It doesn't smell like that artificial, way too sour raspberry. I love this one. I'm so sad I was only able to get one because that is definitely something different that I don't normally melt and I think it would be really fun to have every so often. Okay, then I got churro cart. Now, I'm going to be honest, with this one, I grabbed it because I know I loved his churro scent, but for some reason, this one smells a lot spicier than it normally does. I don't know why that is. Maybe he switched oils, but to be honest with you, I'm really not liking this one. It's just way too spicy, um, so I'm going to have to pass this one along. I'm going to have to look at my other churro ones because I swear to God, they were never that spicy, so I'm not sure if he changed the oil or not. Okay, next is Fall Parade, Country Cornbread Pudding, Falling Leaves, and Apple Butter Sticky Buns. I'm really not crazy about this one either. I think it's the Falling Leaves. 
because that's mostly what I'm getting. And then I do get a little bit of that apple butter, which I do like, but I don't like it mixed with the falling leaves. I don't know, to me it's just kind of a weird combination, so I'm not crazy about that one either. Okay, then I grabbed super sugar cookies, cutout cookies, and Swig's sugar cookies. So I love pretty much all of his sugar cookie blends, so I grabbed this one. Love it. Smells exactly like a sugar cookie. I mean, not much to say about that one. I do like mixing his sugar cookie with other things too. I just think it's really good. Okay, then I grabbed blue ribbon zucchini, zucchini bread, and blueberry cheesecake. Oh, that's what it was. Blue ribbon zucchini. That's what it was. Um, this one is amazing. I, um, like I said, I had this one already, loved it, wanted more. I love it because it doesn't just smell like blueberry. You get that zucchini bread and it's not like a super tart blueberry like in your face. It's more of like a calmer bakery blueberry scent. And I'm just in love with it. So I did grab that one. All right, this one was a shot in the dark, Palo Alto, obviously, um, Palo Santo, Server Clouds, and Downy Blue Ultra. So I saw the Palo in it and thought, okay, Palo Santo, I'll probably like it. No, because I don't do laundry blends. I didn't know that it was a laundry scent. Harrison probably saw this and he's like, what on earth? Like, this is not something that she orders. <laughs> um, so yeah, not saving that one either. Okay, next one is Main Street Patisserie, uh, freshly baked French pastries and cakes. So this one I've never tried from him before and I didn't even know that he had a scent like this. But I'm not crazy about it. For whatever reason, to me, it smells fruity. It doesn't smell like pastries or cake. <laughs> so I don't know what's up with this one. Maybe it's my nose, but yeah, not crazy about that one either. I got Bread Bake Market, which is whole wheat bread and donut muffins. I love whole wheat bread scents. And I don't know a lot of vendors that carry them because so far the only people that I know is Midnight Daydream now and Candles from the Keeping Room. I don't know anybody else that does whole wheat scents. Oh, Nana Makes Sense had one, but I don't think she does it anymore. Uh, so I've been on the lookout for a good one. And this is it. This smells amazing. It literally smells like freaking whole wheat bread. Oh my God, it is so good. So love, love, love that one. And then I got lemon muffin claws, bear claws, and lemon poppy seed muffins. So I know that I said before that I'm not crazy on certain lemon scents. I'm still trying to figure out which ones I like and which ones I don't. Um, but since this was mixed with bear claws, I was like, screw it. <laughs> Let's just try it to have fun. And um, I'm not crazy on the lemon. However, I do love the bear claws. The lemon, I don't know, man. Some of them just smell weird to me now. Um, and I used to love like all lemon scents, but... I guess my nose is just changing, so I'm going to have to pass that one along, too. I got Cookie Butter Bakery, Old Fashioned Bakery, and Cookie Butter. Um, this one, I think, is weird, too. It's just really, really spicy. Yeah, it smells like straight red-hot cinnamon, but, like, even spicier than that. So I'm not crazy on that one, either. Okay, then I grabbed butterscotch pudding bread, butterscotch pudding and zucchini bread. Um, this one is really good. Oh my gosh, I love the butterscotch in here. I really never noticed how much I love butterscotch until I bought it from up the creek and I was like, wow, that's like a really good scent. So I've kind of just been buying it ever since and I uh, love it mixed with zucchini bread, by the way. Everybody should try it. And then I grabbed the Bourbon Brown Sugar Bear Claws. Um, again, anything with bear claws, I'm willing to try. And um, eh. it's kind of like I like it, but I don't. Because it kind of has like that after smell of real alcohol, which is like, I feel like some people would be like, oh my God, that is absolutely incredible. How does he do it? Which I'm feeling the same way, but I just don't like the smell of alcohol. Like it literally smells like actual alcohol but mixed with sweetness that is so crazy to me I will not melt this but I might keep it just to show it to people and be like yo look what this guy can do like he has alcohol scented wax that legit smells like alcohol I mean who can say that <laughs> all right this next one is cherry chunk zucchini cherry chunk blondies and zucchini bread really love this one 
I like the cherry a lot. I don't feel, I feel like he doesn't do a lot of cherry scents now that I think of it. But this is amazing. Um, the cherry and zucchini bread together is a really, really good blend. So I'm definitely liking that one. And then I grabbed Pumpkin Kitchen Cabin, um, Pumpkin Kitchen and Birchwood Pine type. Um, so this one just sounded interesting to me. And I really do like it. It smells like pumpkin firewood mixed with um, pine. It's like a really good winter scent. I really like this a lot. It is heavier on the pine than it is the pumpkin, but you definitely do get like that smoky pumpkin scent. So I'm really loving that one too. And then I grabbed strawberry pecan waffles, which is um, pumpkin pecan waffles slathered with sweet strawberry jam. So I had this one, I think in my last order, obsessed with it, loved the crap out of it, needed more of it. I'm actually melting it right now because I knew that I was getting another one today and it is uh, amazing. Oh my God, this is just so good. If you love his strawberry jam and you love pecan waffles, you will absolutely adore this one, I promise. I know it sounds a little bit weird, but I, oh my God, it is so good. I actually tried to put three in my cart to buy, but he only had one, um, but it's okay because I still have that one and then I have another half left. So I guess that'll hold me over for a little while. Okay, next one is Mac Apple Treehouse. Um, aged cedar, pine needles, musk, and mac apples. Um, again, I'm willing to try anything with mac apples in it. And I really love this one as well. The mac apple is super strong. And then you definitely get like that pine needles, a little bit of musk, but not really. And I'm not really know what, I don't really know what aged cedar smells like, but I am getting something that I'm not really sure about. So I'm assuming it's that. I love this one. It's definitely different. Like I said, from the other one, like it's different from something that I would normally melt. So I feel like it'd be a really good idea to keep this around and melt it when I'm kind of just maybe burnt down on bakery. Well, not that I'm burnt out on bakery because I don't think that'll ever happen. Um, but if I'm getting like candle nose and I'm not really sure, you know, to clear the air or whatever, or maybe to mask the smell of something icky because it's such a strong scent. So I'm really glad that I grabbed that one. All right, the last scent shot that I got is Red Velvet Churro Donut. See, now this one is amazing. The churro in here is like a really, really sweet cinnamon bakery. And then you definitely get um, a little bit of that red velvet. So I'm not sure what's going on with that other churro one. Um, maybe it's a completely different oil. I'm not sure, but I love that one. Okay, then I grabbed two of these grubbies. They're in the same scent. So this is in buttercream friendship bread, friendship bread and buttercream frosting. Um, this is so good. Oh my God. So this reminds me actually more of, um, what's it called? Fresh baked bread, which I'm not mad about. And then you do definitely get that buttercream frosting. Oh my God. Such a good combination. Then I grabbed one little four ounce sun shot, a little four ounce sun shot. Um, I just really love these scent shots and I really wish more vendors would make them just because I like them. I said it in my last video because I got one in another haul, um, but I just really like that you can get like five melts out of it and they're easy to store because they can just sit flat like a normal scent shot. So I don't know, I just really like these. So this is in Pumpkin Cornbread Mallow Latte. This is really good. I'm so glad that I love this one because I have plenty of it now. I love the um, cornbread in here. And then you do get a little bit of a latte scent. I do wish it was a little bit stronger. And then you do get a little bit of pumpkin as well. Um, but this is just like an overall really nice scent and I like it a lot. Let's put that up there. Okay, then I got something that was a little bit random. Let's move this back a little bit. So I saw this sitting there and I decided to grab it. So this is in churro ice cream, vanilla bean ice cream with chunks of cinnamon sugar pastry. Um, so when I first smelled that other churro one, I was like, oh boy, did I get a candle that I might not like? Thankfully, this one is fine. To be totally honest with you, I smell the vanilla bean ice cream more than I smell the churros. Um, however, you do get the churros in there and it's not spicy at all whatsoever. And I do really like his candles. I got two custom candles from him and I loved them. So I will definitely be buying more candles from him in the future. And I'm really glad that I was able to grab that one. So that was my haul. I know it was a little bit long. So if you made it this far, thank you so much. Um, I know the, the 
the little design that I did doesn't look very nice now that I'm looking at it, but okay, it's fine. <laughs> um, we're here for the, the wax anyway, not the background, so whatever. Um, but yeah, that's going to be everything. Thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye.